There is no harm in reflection, but rather harm generally is the result of the lack thereof. A poet soldier in Iraq, Brian Turner, developed a significant opinion and attitude towards war and which is portrayed in his poem, Sadiq, and Hear Bullet. It's, I believe that it's important for us to understand both the context of the war in which the poem was written, as well as the author's background, in order to gain a deeper understanding for how this American author reached across different cultures in order to, in an attempt to develop a universal truth about war. Sadiq is a very emotional poem, and Brian Turner uses a very confrontational and outspoken tone. He references ancient literature and then also the overall organization of the poem as well as his selective word choice um, help infer that cultural identification does not surpass the importance of human life in any situation. So as a product of 9-11, the United States invaded Iraq in order to fight the war on terror. As we believe that Iraq had the capability to, to deploy weapons of mass destruction. As we, okay, I'm sorry. As we believe that the United States believed to have weapons of mass destruction and Sadiq, Brian Turner, you get this frustration and anger in his words. As you see that as a soldier, he almost has these unmet expectations from the war. And because the United States did not find these weapons of mass destruction, it completely invalidated the justification of the war, as well as all the lives that were taken in response. But in retrospect, because Brian Turner served in this war, is where he was given the words to write in here bullet and share with not only Americans, but society as a whole. So Brian Turner received his master's in fine arts and creative writing before he ever enlisted in the military. And this alternate approach kind of shows that he placed a significant importance on the fact that he believed that NCO positions were the most profound and important positions that a military member could ever hold. So therefore, he served as an infantry team leader in the invasion in 2003 in Iraq. While he describes his time there as being very mundane and tedious, he describes the things that were happening around him as being beautiful, horrific, sad, interesting, the list goes on. But he does this, and this is where he gets the words to share in here bullet. Brian Turner prefaces Sadiq with an epigraph from a piece of ancient literature called the Gulistan of Sadiq which is pretty much just a book of Proverbs on the correct way um, to conduct life. And to give you kind of a context of that, it was written in the year 1258 by this Persian poet. And significantly in that same year, that is when the Mongols were invading ancient Baghdad in which we believe that there were anywhere from 500 to 800,000 men that lay dead in the streets. And so in the context of that war, Sidi says, it is a condition of wisdom and the archer to be patient because when the arrow leaves the bow, it returns no more. This epigraph greatly demonstrates the reasonings and hopes that this Persian poet pleads with his audience to simply think before they act. And to piggyback off of that, in Sadiq, Brian Turner uses words that kind of counsel his audience to reflect upon the emotions that will be carried with the soldier for the rest of his life after he takes another human being's life in war. Through this tie to ancient literature, Brian Turner is able to show that cultural identification does not surpass the importance of human life in any culture as we all experience these emotions in war. The overall organization of Sadiq and the selective word choice that Brian Turner uses is was the most interesting point that I have, that I believe that I have. Um, in the middle of the poem, Brian Turner uses, well to begin, Brian Turner uses anaphora, which is a type of repetition in poetry. And he uses this through the words no matter in his poem as well as it should. So the middle three lines of the poem read, no matter what adrenaline feeds the muscle its courage, no matter what God shines down on you, 
no matter what crackling pain and anger you carry in your fists, to show that it doesn't matter if you're a Muslim or if you're a Christian or if you're fighting and killing in anger, you are going to carry this emotion with you whenever you kill another human being in, in battle. However, he frames the poem with the first and the last lines of the poem, including the word it should. He says, it should make you shake and sweat and it should break your heart to kill. And while he says it should, he's, it's important for the audience to notice that like while we imagine, while we expect the majority of the population to feel the same emotions that we do, not necessarily everyone will. So serving in the war in Iraq, Brian Turner uses the reference of ancient literature as well as this confrontational and outspoken tone and the overall organization of the poem in order to reach his audience and show that cultural identification does not surpass the importance of human life in any way. That you can't take another human's life based off of who they are and what country they live for and sufficiently justify that. So Brian Turner begs his audience to plea and not to plea, but begs his audience to reflect. And while there is no harm in reflection, reflection, harm is usually, usually the result of the lack thereof.